Hi, I'm Dennis Fisher, and thanks for joining me for this Kaspersky Lab Lab Matters webcast. I'm here with Stefan Tanasa, and today we're going to talk about DLP and what role that's playing in enterprise protection these days. So, Stefan, we've seen a lot of high-profile attacks in the last few months, you know, probably starting with RSA, um, the Citigroup hack. The, the Sony hack. Sony, all the attacks on Sony. Um, what role could DLP have played in helping to prevent those attacks or even maybe limit the damage once they were already started? Well, you know, um, how we've seen with the, uh, with the RSA attack, so they were able to spot the attack while it was happening using, right. some, using some tools. This is exactly what, uh, what an ideal DLP solution would, uh, would provide to any company, even if it's an, a small business or a, or a big enterprise. Uh, you can set up different triggers based on things like, uh, I don't know, if all of a sudden you see a huge volume of information being transferred from one network node to another, right. that should raise some flags in the admin interface or something like that, you know. So the admins should be able to spot many of these, uh, many of these huge data leaks. Uh, if they would only have had some basic, uh, basic technology to keep, the, keep a watch over that. And does, if you've got a DLP solution in place, do you have to go in and sort of tune it to, to set up those yeah, triggers and course, say, this course. is what I'm worried about? DLP solutions uh, have to be very customizable because each player, each company, each organization which, uh, which would implement such a solution uh, has their own you know, requirements, their own specific yeah. details that they need to take care about which data they're worried about, it might differ from exactly. organization to organization. Exactly. And also many companies who work in, in uh, who, who are being active in, in certain industries, they have to be compliant with all sorts of rules, you know, so that's also adding up yeah, to the that, uh, customizable factor. That's true, the, the compliance plays a big part these days, especially in the US and now even more in Europe too. So um, another thing we're seeing these days is a lot more data being stored in the cloud. So, you know, being stored off premises, not necessarily on enterprise networks, um, you know, things like Gmail, a lot of other consumer yeah. services are, are cloud based. Um, is there any advantage that DLP can give you in those situations when the, the data isn't stored on your own networks? Well, unfortunately, if you're not storing the data on your own network, you don't really control it. So you're, you're not just buying the storage from your cloud service provider, but you're also buying the uh, security, or at least a lot, of, a lot of security should be there. But, you know, we've seen cases like, uh, like HB Gary or, you know, many, uh, many important uh, Gmail accounts which were targeted, you know, right. Chinese activists, etc. So in cases like this, you know, if your information is in the cloud and somebody gets access to the keys to that cloud, uh, then you're, you're probably in, in a bad situation. Right. And another component for a lot of DLP systems is uh, some sort of encryption, whether it's the full disk encryption for, you know, desktop hard drives, server hard drives, um, encryption for thumb drives, all of this kind of stuff where data is stored these days, even sometimes on mobile devices. Mm -hmm. um, that can be an important thing, especially when an attacker is able to get into the network, maybe get past some of your uh, perimeter defenses. If the data is encrypted, that can be a, a key defense against those kind of attacks, right? Well, definitely, but even more important than that, uh, people need to understand the value and the importance of encryption uh, only when they think about the, uh, the physical threat, like losing your laptop or somebody yeah. physically stealing your laptop or your, your mobile device. Because, you know, nowadays our devices get, are getting more and more mobile. They're getting smaller and, and smarter at the same time. So we're, we're able to do more important things, uh, more complex things on devices which are smaller than ever, right? Our phones are becoming more like our, our computers. So we need to understand that these devices can be lost and that the information that is stored on them is getting more and more valuable uh, uh, every day, right? And uh, of course, encryption is something very important because if your if your device is not encrypted, then all the information will be will be leaked. So, Stefan, encryption can also be a big component of DLP systems. You know, server side encryption, hard disk encryption on the desktop, but it's probably even more important when it comes to mobile devices, right? Well, definitely, you know. 
mobile devices nowadays are getting smarter and smarter and we're, we're, we're using our mobile phones to do more important things than we used to do in the past with them. You know, we're accessing corporate emails, we're editing corporate documents, we're doing, we're doing online banking. So uh, especially with, uh, if, you're, if you're more than just a home user probably, if you're a small business, especially if you're an enterprise, you need to understand the, the importance of, of encrypting all of your mobile devices. Not only because of, uh, of, of the fact that that, you know, encryption is just a good thing generally to, to right. have, but uh, uh, device loss, the, uh, the risk of losing your device is, uh, uh, is especially high right now with, you know, so many employees traveling and stuff like that. You don't, right. want, uh, you don't want your losses uh, to be bigger than just the, the cost of the hardware when you're losing your device. You don't want to lose the information at the same time. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah. And so with all that said, I mean, there's a, there seem to be a lot of advantages to DLP, a lot of uh, things that it can help you with, but it can't, you know, the security industry has always been looking for the silver bullet, you know, the cure-all technology. And I remember DLP being, you know, touted as, as a cure-all, well, but that's not the case. Well, right? I wouldn't say it's the case, of course. I mean, uh, you cannot say that DLP is a silver bullet or anything like that. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, uh, if we're being realistic, DLP is a, yet a, another layer of defense, right? And we're living in a world where you should you should rely on as many layers of defense as possible sure. because if, if one gets compromised, then at least you can rely on the on the other ones. So I think that DLP is a, is a layer of defense that every every uh, entity which is uh, at least bigger than just a home user should have, you know, a small business, a medium business, they should, uh, they should go for DLP. Anybody that's got valuable data to protect. Of course, to right. protect, yeah. Okay. Thanks, Stefan, and thank you all for joining us for this Lab Matters webcast. For other webcasts, you can check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Kaspersky.